Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to work with the content editor web part to add CSS to a page. I've already done that in another demo, but here I want to show it in another way. As you'll notice, I have, um, if I go into edit mode on this page, I have a content editor web part on this page, and in that I have some CSS. So I'm going to go in an edit mode on that web part, and there I'm going to go into the edit source and as you see it's kind of a tedious process a few clicks there so what I want to do instead is that I want to use this to a text file instead so I'm going to go and open the site contents I'm going to open that in a new tab and I'm going to go into the site assets which is where you're recommended to put your CSS files and stuff like that so the site assets is there I'm going to open that with a Windows Explorer like that right and then I'm just going to create a new text document I'm going to call that home page CSS and the extension should of course be uh, CSS of course that's a bit too much uh, let's do it just like that's enough and then I'm gonna, just going to edit that page I'm just going to open it with notepad for now and paste my code in there save that and then I can go back to my site assets, refresh that. So then I'm going to type in that site assets and home page.css right there. So that's the link to my CSS. And I'm going to apply that. And now I'm going to go into the content editor here. Now you see there's no space for actually editing my um, content there anymore. So now I'm just going to save this. And if I go in and modify this text file now, which of course I can do with a more powerful tool than Notepad. I change that to yellow now, just to make it very obvious what I'm doing. I just save that now. File save and back there, and, and then I'm refreshing again. And there you see the background color is yellow. So what I did there was uh, I put a um, content editor web part with a link to a text file. In this case, a CSS file that's in my site assets. And then I can just modify that text file without having to go back and forth with saving the page. So and that makes it a whole lot simpler. Thank you for watching this demonstration.